in, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. And you guessed it, this is another nerd rant. Now, this goes back to a conversation that kind of turned into an argument between me and Mr. Zod's Fandom Zone on one of Tammy Talks About Sunday Night Talks, where he insinuated that Marvel was all sunshine and rainbows, whereas DC was more gritty, and he used the only true gritty background story in all of DC, really. Yeah, Superman Planet, I get you, but basically, to insinuate Marvel is all sunshine and rainbows is being, sorry Zod, not accurate. So, I'm going over four different characters' backstories from Marvel to prove the fact that Bruce Wayne losing his parents... Yeah, there's grittier stories out there. And we are going to start with Magneto, also known as Eric Leshner's backstory, who was born to a Jewish family in Germany. He states in X-Men First Class that his parents were from Dusseldorf. In 1944, Eric is forcibly separated from his parents by Nazi SS troops in Germany-occupied Poland, specifically at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Under this stress, Leschner's powers began to manifest. Even with four guards pulling him away, he managed to bend open a heavy metal gate separating him from his parents before being knocked unconscious by another guard. While at Auschwitz, he first encounters a mutant Nazi collaborator named Sebastian Shaw under the alias Dr. Klaus Schmidt. At first, Shaw treated him in a friendly fashion, offering chocolate and asking him to simply move a Reichsmark coin. However, when Eric was unable to do so, Shaw counted to three and then shot and killed his mother in front of him in order to unlock the boy's powers through his anger. Eric's magnetism subsequently killed two SS troopers and destroyed an entire lab room in a fit of grief and rage. Pleased, Shaw then tortured and experimented on Eric for an undisclosed length of time, attempting to further expand his magnetic powers. Following the end of World War II in 1945, his liberation from Auschwitz, Eric attempts to find Shaw and exact vengeance, murdering other surviving Nazis connected to Shaw along the way. In 1949, Eric immigrates to America, where he saw the Statue of Liberty for the first time, thinking it to be the herald of America as a land of tolerance and peace. Eric becomes disillusioned with this fictitious image of America, and returns to Europe to pursue his goal of hunting down Sebastian Shaw. And of course, the backstory goes on, Hellfire Club, but mainly I wanted to cover that. So, Zod, excuse me, but how does Bruce Wayne's parents getting shot quite compare to not only having your parents shot in front of you, but to be also be under the loving care of Sebastian Shaw at Auschwitz. Just saying. Just saying. <clears throat> and he is by far <clears throat> not the only one of Marvel that has a messed up backstory. Number one that I mentioned even during the stream is poor old Logan, also known as James Howlett. In the late 1880s, a child by the name of James Hallett was born. As a child, James was a frail and sick boy. His allergies did not allow him to go out and play much. His father had requested that a 12-year-old girl be brought to their estate. That girl was named Rose, and she was to be a friend and playmate to James. She read to him and looked after him. Along with the groundskeeper's son, Dog, James and Rose were the only children on the hill where the estate was. They had become close friends and played together as much as possible, but Dog slowly grew away from them. Dog's father, the groundskeeper, was named Thomas Logan. He was an alcoholic and, <clears throat> and abused his son. 
Over the next two years, Dog started to follow in his father's footsteps, becoming cruel and heartless. James was given more responsibilities by his father and grandfather. After a big fight, Dog killed James' canine companion, which resulted in Logan's getting kicked off of the Howlett estate. In a fit of rage and anger, Thomas Logan and his son entered his state armed. They took Rose hostage and demanded that she take them to the master's bedroom. There, the elder Logan tried to persuade James' mother, Elizabeth, to leave with them. Before they could leave, John entered the room and discovered them together. In a rage of hate and dislike, Thomas shot John as James walked into the room. Seeing his father shot and killed shocked him so much that it triggered his latent mutant abilities. His claws extended and continued through Thomas. <clears throat> After his mother shunned him for his unusual abilities, he fled the house. Rose followed to see what she could do. She found James outside the house on the ground and cold. She brought him to the barn in order to try and warm him up. Not knowing what to do, Rose brought James to his grandfather's house. He ended up giving them cash and told them never to come back. Rose took James and went to British Columbia looking for a place that they could live in peace. Rose remembered her father talking of quarries in the North for tears, and she figured that would be a good place for them to start looking. Making it to a quarry, they met a man named Smitty, who was the foreman. That was when Rose gave James the name Logan to hide his true identity. But his second summer there, Logan was providing for both Rose and himself. He had trained himself to be a fine hunter, and he also worked hard at the quarry. Smitty gave him a new job in demolitions. Shortly after, Smitty asked Rose to marry him. The proposal upset Logan, but he finally realized that Smitty did indeed love Rose. Logan then helped Smitty get the money for tickets away from the quarry. Before Smitty and Rose could leave, Dog showed up. At the request of Logan's grandfather, he was to kill Logan and Rose for what he believed they did. In the fight that followed, Rose tried to break it up, but was struck by Logan's claws and died. After not being able to live among people for what he did, he left the camp and went off into the wilderness to live alone. It wasn't until his first recorded encounter with Hulk as an agent of Canada's Department H that anyone had heard of him or knew what he, he was interacting with people again. <clears throat> so already messed up. Already messed up. Killed his childhood best friend, the only friend he has ever had. Really, the other than Dog, of course. Already messed up. But now, wait, there's more. <clears throat> Logan possesses memories of being a samurai in Japan, a mercenary operative for the Central Intelligence Agency, and a wild man in the Canadian wilderness. Due to extensive memory implants given to Logan through the Weapon X program, any and all memories are suspect. Logan has at least one memory of meeting Captain America in World War II, which was verified as true. It's possible that Logan's healing factor grants him an extended lifespan and has granted him the physical condition of a man in his prime despite his age. Sometime after World War II, Logan was taken by a group of scientists led by Dr. Cornelius as part of the Weapon X program. Cornelius was hired to perfect and use a technique that would bond the indestructible element animantium to human bone cells. Logan's skeleton was bonded to the animantium and he was indoctrinated into the Weapon X assassin program. After his encounter with the Hulk, Wolverine was conscripted by Department H to join and lead Alpha Fight, Canada's government-run super team. During his leadership of Alpha Fight, Wolverine was approached by Professor Charles Xavier, who was looking for mutants to help his students. Okay, so that goes into all of that. So that's pretty messed up. He can't even trust his own memories, okay? Just saying. Now, moving on, who else has a messed up backstory in Marvel? That would be Wanda Maximoff, also known as Scarlet Witch, is a native of Sokovia who grew up with her fraternal brother Pietro. Born with the late magical ability to harness chaos magic, she developed a hatred against Tony Stark and railed anti American protests after the Novigrad bombings which killed her parents. Years later, in an effort to purge their country of strife, the twins joined Hydra and agreed to undergo experiments with the Scepter under the supervision of Wolfgang von Strucker. Yeah, think about that. Parents dead, Hydra 
experiments, amplifying her abilities. While her brother developed super speed, Wanda attained various psionic abilities. When Hydra fell, the twins joined Ultron to get their revenge on Stark, but abandoned him when they discovered Ultron's true intentions to destroy Earth. And then, you know all of that, then Civil War and all of that, but that's <clears throat> obviously pretty messed up. Who else has a mess of backstory in Marvel? Well, that would be Dr. Stephen Strange. MD, a.k.a. Dr. Strange. He was the Sorcerer Supreme for Earth-616. Strange was once a brilliant but arrogant neurosurgeon until a car accident crippled his hands. When modern medicine failed him, he embarked on a journey to Kamataj in Tibet, where he was trained by the Ancient One. He healed his hands and learned more about the magic, eventually becoming a master of the mystic arts. He settled in the Sanctum Sanctorum in Greenwich Village, New York City, and became the Earth's protector from any mystical threats. So, he messes up his entire career, mangles his hands. And think about that. That might not seem traumatic unless you have this career and you just lost everything. And then he gets thrown into magic. So... You can't go and tell me that Marvel is all sunshines and rainbows. That's just a few characters. There are far more with even more messed up backstories. Alright? So, for the record, DC is by far not more grittier than Marvel. Alright, folks. That's all I got this afternoon for this nerd rant. I do appreciate your time, and I hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye.